Think you don't have room to grow winter squash and pumpkins in your small garden? Well, I'm here to show you how to grow them up a trellis. Pretty groovy. Hi, I'm Debbie with Libraries of Stevens County. In this edition of Groovy Gardening, I'll share with you how to grow winter squash and pumpkins up a trellis and save room in your garden. These plants usually sprawl everywhere and take up a lot of space. Up a trellis, you can grow more, using less space. One of the most important things I've learned as a gardener is that there is almost always another way to do what I'm already doing. So take a risk, try something new, and use the resources that are available. Our library has many, many books that will aid you in determining what zone we're in, usually five, and help you with water protocol and creativity. I love those books. They really help me spread my wings in the garden. Preparing your soil is never more important than when you're growing winter squash. They're voracious eaters and need something to keep them going, especially if you're growing them up a trellis. When you grow squash on the ground, the vines go out and can put down roots to get nutrition from uh, more space, more square feet in your garden. When you're planting them on a trellis, they only have a small space to get their nutrition from, so you want to feed them really well. I prefer well-aged cow manure, or my favorite is rabbit poop. Either way, make sure that you're feeding them on a consistent basis over the growing season, about every two weeks until they start to set heavy duty fruit like this. Depending on your skill set, a trellis can be as complicated or simple as you like. Personally, my skill set is fairly small, and so I use fence posts and cattle panels or old headboards, something that's already built. You need something that's stout if you're gonna grow a vegetable like this on it. These are heavy. You have two choices when planting winter squash. You can either plant it directly where you want it to grow, or you can do what I do, which is start it indoors between April 1st and April 15th, and then set it the plants out after the last frost, which is usually around May 15th in our area. Traditional wisdom says to plant your seeds about three times deeper than they are large. And seed packets will tell you to plant hills of squash, three to five seeds in a hill, about three feet apart. However, when I plant for a trellis, I plant my seeds about 18 inches apart. You can easily do this before you set up your trellis. And again, three times deeper than the seed is large. Not very deep. And there we have it, ready for the trellis. When growing squash on a trellis like this, you need to keep your vines trained. I use strips of fabric, but some people use twine, and I tie them to my trellis just to give them a little added support. Whatever you use to tie your vines, be sure that you don't get them too tight. You'll girdle the vine and kill it. Keep them loose, it'll work. Once your vines start to grow, it's time to watch that magic happen. These squash are so heavy, you would think, I did anyway, that they'd fall right off the vine and just break. But they don't. Look at what they do. They just grow bigger and heftier, just like your biceps when you're using dumbbells. The heavier the dumbbell, the bigger your biceps get. The sweet mama squash that I grew this year take about 85 days to mature. As you can see, I've given them plenty of time. You'll want to be sure to check your seed packet because some squash need up to 120 days to mature. You for sure want to harvest and bring them inside before the first heavy frost. Looks like I'll be eating squash all winter. Pretty groovy, isn't it? Here are some of my favorite gardening resources available through Libraries of Stevens County. I'll link these in the comments below. Thanks for joining me for Groovy Gardening Perpendicular Edition. I hope you find this information helpful and that you share your experience with us growing vegetables up, not out. <laughs>